The ninth color palette of July also focuses on friendly reminders. So what is July? It's an art challenge that focuses on limited color palettes. As it takes place during July, the name is just the words July and Hue mashed together. The aim is to create imagery using only five colors, though black and white can also be used. This entire series is all about finding time to enjoy the little things. But this specific image is based around the phrase, stop and smell the roses. While I start off by painting some very clear line work, I tend to do my best to minimise the harsh appearance of these lines, which I do by colouring the line art. To do this, I create a new layer directly above the line art layer, and this new layer I set to Clipping Mask. By doing this, the strokes I paint are only visible within the bounds of the layer directly below it, i.e. the line art. Flowers aren't usually a thing that I paint much of, so it felt quite foreign when I started painting these. But the colour palette really called out for an illustration with flowers, which is why I decided to paint them. And of the images in this mini-series, this is actually my favourite, as I just love how the flowers pop against that blue background. Next up is a reminder to spend some time with your friends and your loved ones. To get the perfect ellipsis shapes for the cups, I heavily relied on Procreate's Quick Shapes feature. This is such a helpful tool and I use it all the time. While it can be used to create squares and triangles, I tend to use it more for circles. In order to trigger quick shapes, all you need to do is to draw a geometric shape with one continuous line. But when you're done, you don't raise your stylus from the screen. You keep it down until Procreate responds by creating the perfect geometric shape. The aim of this series of images was to create reminders that we all might need. But I also wanted the illustrations to convey a very calm mood while also being quite simplistic. This is why I chose to focus on items and I didn't want to add any people to the illustrations. For all of these illustrations, I used both transparencies and blending modes. This is because I felt the five colours just weren't quite enough, as sometimes I needed a bit more depth, and sometimes I needed a bit more subtlety than the five colours would allow. The final reminder is to step away from social media for a bit, which I think is a reminder we all need from time to time. I actually illustrated this topic a few years ago, during a July as well, though I wanted to have another go at it where I simplified things further. The illustration features a book and a pair of glasses because I have a feeling that a lot of us have a book or two that we've been wanting to read, but we simply haven't gotten around to reading them yet. And maybe, just maybe, if we stepped away from our phones and social media for a bit, we might actually find the time to pick up that book. If you have any questions about my process, please let me know in the comment section and I'll do my best to respond to them and even address them in a different video. I toyed with the typography of these images in Procreate, but the final wording and typography was created in Photoshop. Unfortunately, I have no footage of the work I did outside of Procreate to share with you.
Thank you so much for watching. More process videos are up on my YouTube channel and you can also check out more of my work on my website and on social media.